Hi everyone! Welcome to my first ever vlog sa YouTube. Hindi ko akalain na sa buong buhay ko yung magkakaroon ako ng sarili kong channel. Charot! <laughs> Which everyone has the opportunity to show their content. But uh, as you can see, I look pale because I'm gonna teach you how to put your kilay on pag nagmamadali ka. You have to use this kind of brush. Kasi, straight na siya agad. So, hindi mo na kailangang manginig pa. Then, kailangan mo ng brown powder. Depende rin kasi yung, yung tone. Depende rin kung ano yung skin color mo. O kung ano yung shape ng mukha mo. So, depende din. So, if you have, di ba, wala ka ng time, lagpas yung kilay mo okay lang yan. As long as it's darker than your eyebrow. Then, magda-drawing ka lang. So, isa sa taas na line. Isa sa baba. And you have to remember na hindi mo kailangan masyadong lagyan dito sa dulo. Yan. Tapos, if you fill in mo lang siya. Yan. So, magti-trace ka. Tapos, ganun na. If you fill in mo lang dun sa kabila. Tapos, check mo lang. So, approximately, hindi tayo inabot ng 2 minutes. Sana yan lang yan, besh. <laughs> tapos, uh, ayusin mo na. Okay, so, as you can see, tapos na yung kilay. You can see the progress. <laughs> Medyo nagkakaroon na ng kolorete. And then, the next one is the eyeshadow. Depende sa'yo kung anong gusto mong ilagay sa eyes mo. If it's daylight, if it's for work, or just going somewhere out sa mall, or mag-walking ka lang naman with your friends, or have coffee, hindi mo masyadong kailangan ng dark tone, or wag ka masyadong gumamit ng mga colors like green, or blue, kasi masyado siyang obvious at ginagamit yun pag mga nasa parties. Kasi I remember when I was hosting, medyo nagagastusan akong magpa-makeup lagi, pa-makeup na pa-makeup, tapos magbabayad ka ng mahal. So, yung mababayad sa'yo sa hosting, instead na madadagdag yun sa'yo, so, why not do it to yourself? You can buy your own makeup. Nagdadagdag pa sa collection mo. So, this time, I'm gonna show you this tone. I think, etong nude na to, maganda talaga siya. Ito yung usual na ginagamit pag lumalabas. Um, just that. So, as you can see the difference from being pale kanina, ayan, ready na ako, pero yung hair ko medyo chararat, ba? So, while curling my hair, I'm gonna discuss to you, panoorin nyo, at uh, turo ko sa inyo yung mga at least uh, basic lang. Then, we're gonna talk about kung paano ako naging DJ before. Kasi maraming nagtatanong sa akin kung bakit ako naging DJ at paano ako naging DJ. Kailangan ba graduate ka talaga? Kailangan mas com ka? Kailangan ginto ginto yung course mo does it have any requirement so uh, actually itong ayor na to 60 years na to and it has a temperature so you can choose from any from 140 degrees celsius up to 210 pero hanggang 160 lang yung kaya ko besh kasi baka masunog yung hair ko like nangyari before and it took a long time for the treatment. Eh, medyo mahal, ah. <laughs> So, hanggang 160 lang, painitin muna natin. Discuss muna tayo kung paano pa talaga ako naging DJ. So, I was third year college when I was having a radio program. Actually, block time yun ang school namin. It's a training for the students kung para ma-enhance, ma-expose kami dun talaga sa industry. Because in our school, we don't have our own radio station. And then, I was reading an English news, and the CEO of this certain radio station, which I won't mention, uh, kinausap ako kung gusto ko daw na mag, magkaroon ng radio program. So, ginawa namin yun ng gabi. It's 6 to 12 midnight. Ayun, uh, tinapos ko na lang yung pagka-curl. Uh, hindi ko na rin nilagyan sa likod, kasi uso na rin naman yan ngayon. <laughs> At kung nagmamadali kayo, and you won't be able to finish it, so it's okay. 
and uh, balik tayo sa ating topic kanina sa mga nagtatanong sa akin if it does it does have any requirement kung paano nga ba magiging DJ well uh, I think the very basic one is the passion of what you are doing like uh, lagi ko yung napapanood sa YouTube nababasa ko sa Google sa mga motivational quotes na most people na nagiging successful sa line nila is yung talagang passionate dun sa ginagawa yung talagang merong gusto mo talaga yung ginagawa mo like making other people happy since I'm out of the radio now I still have the heart for that and I, I think I'm finding time na bumalik ulit uh, even just for part time kasi sa nga hindi ko pa talaga siya magagawa so vlog vlog na lang muna tayo guys <laughs> and uh, I do hope that you will support this channel kung meron kayong suggestions, recommendations or meron kayong comments either it's negative or positive I'm very open to that in improving this channel and just click here to subscribe see you ulit sa next vlog uh, next time ipapasyal ko naman kayo because the city where I live is in Talisay City specifically, not in Bacolod. So, kung saan lang kami makakarating ng anak ko <laughs> at makakapasyal kami, I will, I will probably bring you there. So, bye for now. Have a nice day.